judging by the title of this video, you already know what we're going to be talking about. I want to explain what Technical Wednesday is about. Technical Wednesdays is going to be a specific series of videos where we're going to be looking at three assets which I am monitoring and I have trade setups which I'm looking forward to take if they meet the specific conditions. Now before I begin with my explanations, I want to tell you if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. If you enjoy the content, if you want to see more content and more setups and basically more explanations how you can expand your training and basically elevate your training, please give it a share, give it a comment, thumbs up, let's go. Before I begin with the current technical Wednesday, I want to tell to everybody that actually followed me and have taken the steps which I recommended last week. First, the Ethereum long for 18.24, current price is around 18.60, so make sure you build profit on that. And the second setup is the Bitcoin long from 28.800ish, something like that. So this long is also pretty much completed. I would say I have closed 80% of it. My stop loss is at the entry. So at the moment, if you haven't booked profits, do so. Don't look for basically expanded new highs like 32, 33. Make sure you book, you book your profit and you keep that bag secured, okay? You don't want to be losing money. You want to be making money. So if you haven't, do so. Shout out to everybody that followed me. Shout out to everybody that made money with me. Let's go. Now, in this Technical Wednesday episode, we're going to be looking at three assets. DXY, Audi USD, BTC and Ethereum. Now, about the DXY, what I want to mention by the current price action, the current resistance is the 0 0.5 of this pool of the deviation pocket, which basically held here as support. We moved back in, back tested that support area, back tested this weekly on the 4 hour time frame and had a move up. At the moment, we have created these equal highs, ladies and gentlemen, on the daily time frame. That's how it looks. And I really do like the daily time frame in terms of consolidation. The reason is we're basically consolidating this weekly level and we still haven't tapped it. So in me personally, because tomorrow we have news, Thursday we have the CPI dates are coming out. So what I would like to see, I would like to see us hanging out here a little bit longer. And then on um, Thursday, tomorrow, basically, I would like to see a spike up tap that weekly, come back below, and then have a move down to this weekly from here and basically back test this area. And from here, basically, we can take it up higher. That's my opinion of DXY, ladies and gentlemen. If you take a look on the four hour time frame, we have a lot of basically not lows that are not swept, okay, to keep it simple. So we have this low, this low, this and this, okay. So be vigilant. And to be honest with you, I would really like them um, swept. And also, if we manage to do this, okay, hang around here for a little bit longer, then have this spike, come back in. Basically, if we come back lower, we're going to be coming into this imbalance area on the four hour time frame. So that's my preferred area to look for basically short on Euro USD and longs on the DXY to keep it simple. Now, moving on, I'm going to be talking about Audi USD. Audi USD. That's my current setup, which I'm looking forward to. I would like to sweep this Asia low. Now, let me just delete a few things for a second. OK, so I can explain to you why I prefer that thing. Now, if you take a look on the daily time frame, on the daily time frame, that's how the Audi USD pair looks. So basically over here, we have this order block being in place. These are my FIP settings for order block 0 0.566618 and 706. That's how I like to keep it for the order blocks. So basically yesterday, what actually happened just take a look on the lows from the previous week so the previous week lows have been swept just one second come on <laughs> we're getting attacked right now okay there we go so on the four hour time frame pretty much this pattern here is very similar to this one now <clears throat> all the usd i've been trading it pretty much perfectly i have traded this place this place over here, this place over here. So I would say my Audi USD trade has been going very well for me. And at the moment, what I would like to mention after sweeping these lows over here, we actually managed to come back above the weekly level, managed to come back above the daily. And currently we're hovering around this older daily level, which is from 3rd of August. At the moment, the current daily candle is not the best, but you can take your, um, own opinion on this basically the daily candle has a few more hours to close nine hours to close so we're gonna see how it goes in my opinion if you take a look on the 30 minute time frame 
if you take a look on the 30 minute time frame basically judging by simple simple liquidity sweeps this low has been swept this low over here has been swept so basically and we rem if we remain above 0 0.65 i would like to see us coming into that area 0 0.665 something like that okay if you take a look on the anchored view up from this high over here for the anchored view ups these are my settings i would like to look at the bounce multiplier at 0 0.618 that's what i like to look at on the anchored view up okay simple as so basically, if you take a look on the 30 minute time frame, what you can see is that we have a couple of equal highs, I would say, they're not being swept. We have some resting liquidity above it, specifically above this one, we have a lot. And in my opinion, if we start to take the first one, we're gonna be looking all the way to here. But if we come up to here, why not take out these two? Okay, so here you have these two. So basically in terms of liquidity sweeps, that's what I would like to see. If you take a look on the one hour time frame, if you turn on the sessions, Okay, so let me just turn that on. Actually, let's move into the 30 minute time frame. So on the 30 minute time frame, what you can notice is that over here we have this Tokyo, basically Asia low, and uh, pretty much we have the New York session. So if you take a look at the New York session, if we take a look at the mid, okay, the mid 0 0.5. Okay, so the 0 0.5 is coming right below the Asia low. So basically, also we have to, 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 to another confluence there, let me just hide everything. We have the golden pocket coming there as well. If you take a look also at the volume profile, if you take a look at it from the low before it got swept, the value area low is coming there as well. So this is gonna be a very key point. Another thing which I wanna mention in terms of sign of trend, basically after sweeping this, okay, after sweeping this, we managed to form a basically a high higher low and a high high so we could be turning the the market structure to a bullish one so that's what i like to see and also if you take a look at the anchor drop from this low we basically got accepted back into it now we're getting a bit of a pullback but basically you can see the anchor drop from this low resistance hovering below it coming back in support move to the midpoint hover around the mid have a full rotation up to the highs and also the rejection here was very technical as well. If you take a look at the golden pockets from that high down to that low, pretty much to the dollar. So pretty perfect, I would say. And yeah, basically, if we come back into this place, that's what I'm going to be looking to. I'm already in long, but I'm going to be looking to add to my long. And basically, it's going to be looking like that. Stop loss is going to be below this low. Okay. Simple as stop loss below this low. And you're going to be targeting, in my opinion, the older block, which if you manage to get... um this trade seller completed to the absolute is going to give you a risk reward at one to six which in my opinion is good okay so yeah moving forward let's continue with bitcoin btc what actually happened yesterday yesterday we had i would say let's just take a look on the 30 minute time frame so basically over here okay so once we swept that high my personal trade over here 29.605 was a short one okay then we got a bit of a reaction, but nothing much. And basically then we started getting huge increases in the Delta on the order flow. So that's where I pretty much closed my setup because judging by the Delta, we just had people that want to have price going higher and higher. So I don't want to be fighting. I don't want to be fighting Delta. And also we had a lot of confluence at 29,700, which didn't offer any trade to be honest with you. Uh, I believe there was just a lot of ice on that level. That's why we didn't get any reaction with it. So yeah, be aware of this. This weekly that you see here at 29.064, it's a fresh weekly, which if we close the week like that, it's gonna be a fresh weekly over here, you can see. Coming back into the 30 minute time frame, what I wanna make you aware of guys, let's move into the one hour actually. If you take a look at the one hour time frame, a lot of people are turning very bullish right now. Basically yesterday I was calling for this inverse head and shoulders. To have a pump so yeah we had a pump but i don't think this is the place where we want to be looking for a good probability for a long setup that's not the best place to do so if you're in a long i encourage you to book profits now if you take a look on this fixed range pool okay let me just uh yeah so this one so on this one we're basically coming back into the value area low a lot of people are looking at this but in my opinion this is not the correct way to do it and if you take a look at this okay if you just manage to pull 
uh, yeah let's move it all the way to here so basically if you take a look at this upper fixed range we're basically having the valor low as a resistance we did a sweep of this high over here also a few days ago i was talking about a monday high being here with a very very poor high which needs to be swept it was just a magnet for price to go to okay monday high from 24th of july you can look that up which got front run over here so yeah this was this is a very important place to come back in to fill some inefficiencies now the valor low is being resistance right now if you manage to come back in okay if you manage to come back in basically come above the daily level again come up come above 30,133155 and hold above here I would personally look to take price up to here to clean out these equal highs but until that happens in my opinion what we should be looking at is something different what we need to be looking at right now first of all you need to take a look at this range over here so basically over here you can see the first time we try to come come back into this range we just managed to come into the point of control and reject that you can see the hourly close very very clean and then the second time we managed to come back in we managed to get a full rotation up to the valuary high you can see that being resistance over there now the next thing the next range is down here okay so if you manage to look at this if you manage to come back below 29500 in my opinion you should be looking down to the point of control at 29220 and even if you come back in you should be looking for a full rotation even if you come back in you should be looking for a bounce maybe to the volume area high and then come back in and have a full rotation to the volume area low to 29k and then from there you can be looking for a long setup to up here but we're gonna be talking about this in a second basically at the moment to keep it simple okay let me just zoom in at the moment we're hovering in this area let me just show you the TPO chart. So the TPO chart, that's the TPO chart. Judging by the TPO chart, yesterday we had a very bullish trending day, which you should not neglect. Basically, we did, we do have this data for a very bullish trending day and it should not be neglected. But we have all these lows which are not being swept. So basically, we have low, low, low. With resting liquidity, you have a lot of trail stops over there. And also today, you have this poor low being left with one block. This one is kind of okay. Basically, the last few weeks i would say we can notice that we even have highs and lows with two blocks not with three blocks which basically if you have a three block selling or buying tail is going to signify that that's a se selling sell or buying sell okay but even with two blocks at the moment because the liquidity is being lower we can lower this um expectation to put it that way so we can say that this high here is being fine it's not a buying tail i mean a selling tail it's not a selling tail do not take like that but it's fine and then this low here is not fine okay and also we have the previous day valuary low on the tpo chart because the, vo the the volume chart is different the tpo chart is coming at 29420 which basically is also pretty much the valuary low over here and also if you take a look at the golden pocket okay so the previous day valuary low and the valuary have this range is coming into that area so this is going to be your first intermediate support also you can take a look that the market structure is basically confirming this being a support level so yeah this is the first level which if we lose is going to signify weakness in my opinion and then i will be looking down to 29k okay simple as now <clears throat> coming back into the tpo chart what i would like to mention that's an aggressive aggressive selling sale do not neglect that that's a very good high yesterday very very poor low good low so even if you come back into here you should be looking for a bounce too much higher if you take out this in my opinion you should be looking to that equal high set 30,300 400 something like that coming into the order flow at the moment you're forming bearish divergence if you take a look this highs to this high you're forming that bearish divergence so we can be maybe getting a drop drop maybe to sweep this low you have the previous uh day view up close coming at 29 ish so be aware of this uh so yeah there are multiple factors which basically tell you that this is not a place where you should be looking for a long and if you're in a long and if you want to get in sorry if you want to get into a long that's my suggestion so i'm being in a dilemma what i should do right now should i take the best setup or just post a few setups okay so intermediate if you take a look basically 
if you come back below this low come back below this low and you come back above this daily then you could be looking for a long setup basically coming maybe into this area and the reason is you're gonna have maybe the golden pocket in there something like that you should be looking for something like that if this manages to happen but this is not the best setup so basically i'm gonna delete all this i do not suggest this what i would suggest if you come back above this high again and if you take out this high because this is gonna be considered as a london high so if you come back above that high take it out and you continue to form this bearish divergence between these two highs on the CVD. Then you should be looking for a drop with this being your first take profit area. And then you could be looking towards this area. Now, basically, the setup is going to be looking like that. Okay. Stop above that high. Target this. This area right here. Next session. Next session. So, yeah. You should be looking towards cleaning the, these out. So, yeah. One to three risk reward. Good setup. Let me delete this for a second. So also keep in mind that this is going to be your first intermediate support. Do not neglect this. Uh, we can be looking at either this or this, maybe even this. So I'm going to keep the highlighted, highlighted area, basically. Now, <clears throat> let me just think about for a second. Is there anything else I want to mention about BTC? Yeah, about BTC. I don't think there's anything else which I want to mention. Just look at this as three different ranges. Range one, range two range three sorry one two three yeah that's the way you should look at it in my opinion now moving forward i'm going to be looking at ethereum about, about ethereum right now we're kind of consolidating below the previous week high we have the anchor view up from that high over here let me just really pull out again i want to see the deviation bands right from the high on the four hour let's take a look yeah the four hour so yeah at the moment you're kind of trying to get back into those bands and maybe you can be looking towards this high also the july point of control so if price manages to come back sweep all these highs i would suggest looking at the one hour or two hour time frame and have to close below this level that's your short setup okay that's your short setup simple as and then you should be looking down to the point of control of this mini range which is gonna be at 1831 in my opinion so yeah just look for a liquidity sweep at this area and just wait for the candle to close you don't have to enter up here even if you enter up here you can be looking for a sweep at this high so just wait be patient i would suggest look in the one hour two hour time frame that's my personal suggestion so we have a lot of liquidity resting above this area so that's the most most probable scenario for ethereum in my opinion at the moment just look for a sweep of previous week high we have these equal highs here which need to be sweeped we have the July point control coming in there. We have a golden pocket from this high. Okay. From this high down to here is coming in there as well. So yeah, you should be looking at this uh, potential setup. And then if we come back down into 1831, you can be entering in a long position to have this full range rotation. Basically, that's your overall range. Trade the range until it breaks. Okay. Simple as. That's for this technical Wednesday. Like, subscribe, comment and share. Thanks for coming again.